This is Toyota Talks. This is Chris Saldane, and it is once again semi-final Saturday, and you, my friend, are comfortably placed in second place going out tomorrow. Is it finally time <laughs> to see you hoist a blue trophy? <laughs> Dave, how many times have we done this, this, this song and dance? I mean, I, I've come close so many times, and just a few years ago, I had three second place finishes in one season, and I hope this doesn't turn to turn out to be a second place finish again. Um, I, there's a calm about me, a calm sense about me. I'm, I've been on the Elite Series for nine years now, and you know, Lake Champlain is so full of bass. It's like I, there's no worry. It's not like I'm gonna, you know, like tonight I'm gonna lay in bed. Am I gonna get a bite tomorrow? You're gonna catch fish. I'm gonna catch fish. The rest of the guys are gonna catch fish. I happen to be in an area that's got a lot of, you know, larger than average size fish. So I feel really good about it. You know, I'm just trying not to think about, you know, the deficit I have to make up, which is just over two pounds. That's highly doable. Uh, but you know, I just have to execute on every bite uh, that you know I'm I'm placed with and and uh, put them all in the boat. Is that why there's such a calm? Really, just because this one feels like. It's less up to, I mean, sure, you gotta, you, you have to, uh, you know, you have to get the fish in the boat and all that mm -hmm. sort of stuff, but it feels like there's less of that, you know where you're fishing, you, yeah. you know you're gonna yeah. catch them. It's kinda up to the fish gods a little. It is, no, you're absolutely right. The fish gods have to smile uh, down on me, definitely, just, just, just a little bit. Uh, but again, yeah, it's not, you know, I, I'm not like, I'm gonna sleep good tonight, put it that way. And in other tournaments where, you know, I'm in this position and I'm, I'm going into the, uh, into the championship day Sunday, uh, you know, I'm kind of stressed, I'm kind of anxious. I, I'm like really calm. I, I mean, there's no second guessing where I'm gonna start, what baits I'm gonna throw. That's already, I already have all that stuff down. Um, and, and the best thing is I'm going through like 30 to 40 fish a day. So it's like, it's so much fun. So there's that factor as well. We got the numbers thing, we got the above average size. Um, I can't control what first place is doing, um, but I can certainly control what bites my lures. Um, you know, I can control what moves I'm going to make. Um, and you know, we'll just see where we end up at three o'clock tomorrow. You know I love you, but one of the things that is you're synonymous for, you're a hyper spaz. I mean, yeah. you don't slow down, but you did. <laughs> Slow down a little this week due to an injury. <laughs> yes. Rolled your ankle. Yes. I mean, you haven't even had it checked out, but you've been dealing with it all week. Yeah. Is maybe if you win this, does that mean? I mean, we're allowed to injure your ankle before every event. <laughs> yeah, Dave. You could. Yeah, you can meet me backstage before every event and just kind of twist my arm a little bit or, <laughs> or take a baseball bat to my knee. Um, I, I thrive in chaos. I really do. Like the type of fishing I'm doing, I'm chasing birds, I'm on the big motor, shutting down, taking my life jacket on, dumping the trolling motor, firing casts out there. I love chaos and uh, my mind thinks quickly. I played hockey for, for 13 years and, and, and we think fast and I like it when a lot's going on. And, and uh, yeah, going back to the first day, I caught one that was almost five pounds. I was so excited. It was, it was wet, it was rainy. I had loose boots on and I jumped from the back deck to the center of the boat, slipped on a pair of pliers and rolled my ankle but I just put an almost five pound fish in the live well, so I didn't feel it. I didn't feel it until about six o'clock that night and it swelled up, uh, but it hasn't hindered me so far. We're in second place and we're looking for a huge day tomorrow. Is the chaos of, uh, you say you excel in chaos and you definitely do, but is the chaos of just the amount of fish helping you stay calm? Because I mean, when you're fighting fish, you're only thinking about one thing. Yeah, that's right, landing that fish and then catching the next one. Landing that fish, either calling or letting that one go, and we're on Lake Champlain, it's full of smallmouth. Every time you catch one in this area I'm in, you catch one and you look at your electronics and you see them coming up off the bottom. There's one, there's one, there's one. So you quickly want to take that fish off, pull, do what you need to do, get right back down there and catch another one. I love those flurries and I thrive in just that chaotic environment. He is <laughs> the Zal Dangerous one and he is five fish away from his first Bassmaster Elite Series title. Let's do it.